We got the Rockwell Hardness Tester here. We got a bunch of tools. Let's go check it out. Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name's Chris. Today we are at the University of Nebraska and we're gonna head down to the College of Engineering for Mechanical and Material Sciences. We're gonna use the Rockwell Hardness Tester and we're gonna test out a bunch of different manufacturer sockets. We're gonna look at Craftsman, Stanley, Snap-on, Mac, Harbor Freight, Gear Wrench, SK, we have a bunch of different tools that we are gonna test out and see if the manufacturers are within specs. The Rockwell C-Scale in and of itself is not the best predictor of longevity, but it is very proportional to the tensile strength. We haven't been to school for a while, maybe you haven't either, but we're gonna head down to that College of Engineering and check out the Rockwell Hardness Tester. Our standards today, we will be using ASME spec, which means we need to be within 38 and 54 on the Rockwell C-Scale. We'll be running through some calibration material and on the top side, our material is 61.8. So we need to be within one HRC and 61.1 means we're good on the top side. So on the bottom side, our test material is 31.1. So again, we need to be within one HRC and our machine looks like we are testing out at 30.7. So at least we're gonna get some accurate measurements when we test things out today. We got a Rockwell hardness tester here, all calibrated and ready to go. So let's get down to business. So we're gonna start things off with a Snap-on USA made socket. Hopefully we're gonna set the bar really high here. They always do say that Snap-on includes a proprietary blend with their steel mixture, goes through a heat treatment process, produces a really strong, thin walled, long lasting, durable socket, and hopefully we'll see some high Rockwell C scale numbers here. And the very first number is coming in at 49.0. So that's a really high number. It falls within our guidelines of the 38 to 54. We're gonna take three different samples. We'll average them together at the end. We'll give you the peak value as well as chart them and graph them. And it's gonna be really neat. And you'll be able to see all the data for all the different socket manufacturers in order. And the final number for that snap on socket producing a really high HRC of 49.7. I thought it would be interesting to throw in a Harbor Freight Pittsburgh professional impact socket. You know, people do say that impacts are softer than chrome sockets, but they have that thicker wall for durability and longevity. Here you can see that Harbor Freight Impact Pittsburgh Professional Socket coming in in the 42s and 43s for the Rockwell C scale. So not too bad. It is a still a pretty hard socket in my mind, but this just gives you a general idea of where some impact sockets to some chrome sockets are going to compare. Now the next socket again is from Harbor Freight. This is the Icon Professional Socket. Now we've heard mixed reviews about the Icon Socket. Some people saying it's too soft, other people having no issues. Well, let's see where it falls on the scale here. It falls right in the middle at 44.5. Now, before we pass judgment on this, let's look and wait till the end so we can see where all the other manufacturers that I had available to me, because these are all my own personal sockets that I'm running through here. So I do have a good sampling. It's not by all means a ton of brands, but it's still a pretty good sample set to look at 12 different brands of socket plus that impact socket. So that final number on that icon socket coming in right in the middle at 44.8. Now here we have a Black Hawk USA made socket. Now Stanley Black & Decker bought out the Black Hawk name and then some of these products were rolled into the Proto line. So they still do exist today. They are just a little bit different and the manufacturing from the Black Hawk name is not what it used to be like. So here you can see some of the hardness numbers. They're producing nice high Rockwell numbers in the 46s and 47 and that's a pretty hard socket. It's also what I like to think of as an industrial socket. The sidewalls are slightly thicker on it, but it has really held up very well for me. Probably had that socket for at least 15 years, and the longevity on it, for me anyways, has been really, really good. Now here is a gear wrench socket. People have had really good luck with these. Pretty thin walls on these. 
Um, you know, people like to say they're a good go-to socket. Well, here you can see that the numbers that they produce for the gear wrenches are coming in at 45.2. And we're going to have another one here in a second that we can average out here at the end, uh, 44.9. The gear wrench so far is producing really nice hardness numbers in the middle of the road, high 44s, low 45s. If this third value comes in at the same, really decent sidewalls on this, not overly thick, not super thin, tremendous value and hardness in this socket. So here we have a Husky socket, and this is something that you can pick up at Home Depot. Now this socket here, I did have some problems with the back where the anvil goes in. It has a concave nature to it, which really didn't allow me to take the normal readings that I did on all the other sockets. So we turned this over on the side and the sidewall results, we did do those on the other sockets, just didn't always show them, but they produced really similar results as the back end of the socket. And here you can see the Husky socket is producing really, really hard and high numbers on that Rockwell C scale. And this is a really hard socket for the money. And I'm really impressed with this Husky. I just don't like the dual detent system on the back, but that Husky throwing up really, really hard numbers, 49.3. Here is a Craftsman USA made socket. This is a go-to socket for a lot of people that still have them around. And you can see that it's producing 45.7. So that's, you know, right there in the middle, just a little bit above pretty consistent with that gear wrench but a little bit above it as well as above the icon socket but again still below what the rockwell scale was for that snap-on socket that we first tested out but there's a big price difference between those last few uh, numbers when you look at the craftsman one compared to this here we have the sk wayne socket and this is the one that i typically use in a lot of my ratchet torture tests and this one, you know, I'm really interested to see where this one fares because I put a lot of abuse on this socket and I'm really surprised to see this is coming in really low on the hardness scale at 40.1 HRC as well as we'll see the second result here. Yeah, really shocked. So there must be a lot of flexibility in this socket. Uh, but again, really low numbers for this older SK Wayne socket, which I'm really surprised at. I would have thought this would have been a really hard socket because it's had really good consistent results for me. So this one was definitely a surprise to see. So another socket we're gonna look at is a Napa Auto Parts USA made socket here. And you might be asking yourself, why are you showing some of these older sockets? Well, all of the tools that we're looking at, these are my own personal tools. I've bought them with my own money. I've had them for many years. And it's really just interesting to see kind of the progression from old to new and where we're at today and see if there truly was a difference in some of these. Here we can see that that Napa socket's coming in at 43.7. And you know, that really to me, that socket never had any problems and was always really comparable in my mind to a Craftsman USA socket. The socket like this one here, this is another Stanley USA socket. Typically won't see these around anymore. Um, definitely not uh, in like brand new condition. They're always going to be slightly used. But something like this, you know, I've had this around for probably at least 20 years and haven't had any complaints with it other than that the sidewalls on them are slightly thicker than a lot of the other sockets that I've had and just really haven't been able to put it to use very much because I have so many other chrome sockets. But the numbers that it produced were really on par right in the middle of where we'd want to see numbers. Here we have a cobalt socket. Now this can be picked up at your Lowe's Home Improvement Store. Cobalt over the years was a really decent brand. It's kind of changed a little bit now that the Craftsman brand has moved into the Lowe's store and I've seen a large reduction in the amount of availability for the Cobalt brand. Here you can see, you know, we're coming in at low 44s and high 43s. We'll get this third result here and we can see that our Cobalt socket, you know, doesn't fare too bad on the hardness scale. Here we have a Tecton branded socket. And to me, this Tecton socket, 
you know, has a lot of look and feel to that cobalt socket. So it'll be interesting to see if there's any comparison there. Looks like this one is coming in a little bit higher. It's got a 44.4 on the HRC scale, and we'll get a couple more results here. Uh, 45 so you know this one's going to be right in the middle of that 38 to 54 scale and that's a pretty decent number for coming in on the hardness because Tecton offers a really really good value for their tools so that's a pretty nice socket the last socket we're going to look at is the Mac tool socket here this one comes in off the tool truck at a price that is a lot more than the Tecton or a lot of the other sockets that we just looked at, but it's producing relatively lower numbers, but that's all relative because, you know, I never had any problems personally with this socket or almost any of the other sockets for that matter of fact, when used properly and when used correctly on the right tools. So we've collected all our data samples and everything that we're gonna be able to get today. We're gonna to go ahead and shut down the machine, put some things away, and hopefully it won't be too hard to put all the results and data in an Excel spreadsheet. Here we can see out of all the testing, the snap-on socket was coming out as the hardest socket with the SK Wayne being the softest. Looking over the average, median, mode, and peak average, we can see a lot of brands are falling right in that 44 and 45 range with our older Craftsman USA being slightly higher. So if you're like me and you did like the Craftsman USA sockets, it might be because it's slightly harder than a lot of the other sockets out there and had a tremendous value to it. Here's all the raw data and you can see that that snap-on socket is truly harder than all the other sockets with the Husky socket very shortly behind it. Then you can see the bulk of the sockets falls right in that 44 and 5 range with that gear wrench, Tecton, Icon, and Cobalt. And at the bottom with our softest sockets, you can see we have the Mac Tools and the SK Wayne. Now the SK Wayne socket is held up very well for me and I have no complaints with it at all. What to do with all this information? Well, the manufacturing process has gotten a lot better and quality control is fairly consistent. While this is a small universe, hopefully it will help educate you in the right socket purchasing decision. So guys, really appreciate you tuning in. If you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And as always, work smarter, not harder, and I'll catch you in the next video.